Welcome back to this one of our two minute tips. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a piece of functionality called release button to use dial. Becoming comfortable with the buttons and interface on your camera is really important and training your muscle memory to be able to react subconsciously to changing different settings on your camera can be the difference between getting a brilliant shot and missing it. Some controls though can be quite tricky. So for example, changing the ISO on the Z series cam, you have to hold down the ISO button on the top and turn one of the thumb dial or the front dial, depending on the functionality you're changing. And this can be quite a challenge when you're trying to balance the camera. But don't worry, help is on hand with the release button to use dial functionality. So if you go to the custom settings menu and you go to F controls and then scroll down to F6, release button to use dial. It'll give you two options, yes or no. Out of the box, the camera comes set up with no, which means you have to press the ISO button and rotate the dial at the same time. If you select yes, it changes how the camera operates. So for example, if you want to change the ISO, you press and release the ISO button once, and what you'll see on the LCD is the ISO goes from white to yellow. You can then use the thumb dial to change the ISO up or down, and you press the ISO button again to take it back to shooting mode, and ISO on the back LCD goes back to white. So you don't have to hold down the ISO button while you're turning the thumb dial. It works with the ISO button, the shutter release type button, and any button that you've programmed through the F2 or G2 settings for stills and video. So all of your customizable buttons on the Z series camera. Give it a try, perhaps try it over a period of time to see how it works for you. Let us know which approach you prefer in the comments below. Don't forget, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell to hear about future videos, and I look forward to seeing you in a future two-minute tip video.